the work continues. The work continues, <laughs> and if I've only saved one life by showing people how to stop the transmission of infections, then that's enough for me. I ended up receiving the outreach prize because I've done about 15 years of outreach with the public, mainly um, directed towards children, to try and help them understand how infectious diseases are transmitted and how to prevent that by improving their hand hygiene or their hand washing. The outreach started when my young, eldest child came back from school um, with a letter to say, will parents come into school and tell us what they do? And at the age of five and six, I thought, hmm, are they really going to understand the molecular mechanisms of protein secretion from bacteria? So I thought, well, I'll, I'll tell them something a bit more useful. I'll tell them how um, diseases are transmitted and how they might prevent that by washing their hands. For the creative ways, they come in a couple of different forms. So initially, I worked with infection control nurses and engineers and learning scientists, social scientists, to devise a fun, interactive, edu educational toy with the children that they would use and it would help them learn the steps of how to wash their hands. And that involved UV lights, which they loved, and iridescent lotion. And then we were able to take that um, into a big great, great greetings experiment and we could compare then the difference in, cha in how the lotion was transferred and we quantified that Com and we were tried to compare how it was tra transferred compared to waving at each other, um, doing a high five, doing a handshake and we quantified that transfer of, of the lotion and able to show that a lot more transmitted when you were shaking hands. Out of the last 15 years, I have got motivation, I have got creativity, and I have got also a, a great appreciation of working in cross-disciplinary um, teams. Because what we've done in our outreach, because we've had engineers and social scientists and nurses, we have done more with our outreach than we would have done if I'd been on my own, being a microbiologist, going into a school or going into a community event and trying to do public engagement. And because we've um, made more progress, we've also sort of created more things and we've changed the lives of, I think, a few more children and motivated them into science. I'd like to acknowledge all the people I've worked with. Mostly, I think it's been wonderful to work with the children and to get the inspiration back from them and the motivation to keep on doing science because it makes a difference. So and I would also like to thank everybody who's provided resources, whether they be part of the resources that we've in engaged in our interactions or the money we've used to be able to develop the devices that we've used as part of that. So that the university, the microbiology society, the local um, commercial funding agencies.